We've got two questions there, I think. Um, one of them is, is it possible to have Sufism without Islam? And the other one is, why do certain Westerners want to have Sufism without Islam? The question of whether it's possible to have Sufism without Islam has two answers. One of them is that in matters of religion, people can really imagine and believe in whatever they want to believe in. As a scholar, I can't say that anybody's beliefs are right or wrong. So if somebody wants to believe in a form of Sufism which they understand as being as having nothing to do with Islam, they are in completely entitled to do so. And this is something which can actually perhaps be very satisfactory for them, can produce, can provide a, a good sound basis for a, a certain spiritual life. But historically speaking, you can't really have Sufism without Islam because historically speaking, Sufism is something which came into existence in an Islamic context, something that came into existence among Muslims and something that therefore included Islam, included Islamic practice, included Islamic beliefs. So that which has been called Sufism throughout the centuries in the Muslim world is something in which Islam is very deeply embedded. So to have something and call it Sufism without Islam, you can do this, you're entitled to do this, but it's, it's not the same thing. Yeah. So, I mean, you can certainly take certain things out of Sufism and use them in a different context. And there are, for example, some people, especially in the US, who take aspects of Sufism and use it in psychotherapy. So there, is, there are Sufi rituals that you can use in psychotherapy. One thing that's very characteristic of Sufism is a ritual called the zikr, which is a form of repair, group repetitive prayer. And you can do zikr without being a Sufi because it's just a ritual that you do. So you can certainly take zikr out of Sufism and do it without being a Sufi. Uh, you, it's more difficult, though, to take Sufism out of Islam and do Sufism as a whole without being Muslim because so much of Sufism has historically been part of Islam, has derived from Islam. So Sufism is actually, in the end, very Islamic. And forms of Sufism without the Islam certainly exist. And there are many people historically and today who practice what they understand as Sufism, and they are not Muslim, and they don't consider themselves Muslim, and they don't consider the, the, the Sufism that they're practicing as being Islamic either. And that's fine. That's the way that they are doing things. But historically, they are doing something which is substantially different from the Sufism that has been practiced over the centuries by Muslims in the Islamic world.